In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce the idea of z-scores, or talk about z-scores. Now imagine a bell curve, and in the middle I put the mean, and I draw in some observation. Z-scores measure the distance between the mean and a observation. The distance is in standard deviations. On the right are positive z-scores, and on the left, negative z-scores. And right at the mean, it's zero at the mean. The z-score is zero at the mean. The probability of all observation, of course, is 100%. The probability of an observation being above the mean is 50%, and below the mean is 50%. If I draw in a z-score of 1, I'll draw that in. The likelihood or the probability of an observation being between 0 and 1 is 34%. Since the curve is symmetrical, the likelihood of an observation being between 0 and negative 1 is also 34%. I can add these two together. So the likelihood of an observation being between negative 1 z score and a positive 1 z is 68%. You'll also see this written as 0 0.6800 as well. Now imagine I have a z-score of 1.96. The probability of an observation being between 0 and 1.96 is 47.5%. Now I'll draw in a z-score of negative 1.96. Again, these are z-scores. The likelihood an observation is less than 0 and greater than negative 1.96 is 47.5% also. I can add these two together. So the likelihood an observation is between negative 1.96 and 1.96 is 95%. I may want to know the probability an observation is less than negative 1.96 or greater than 1.96. The probability of all observations is, of course, 100%. And I take 100%, and the probability between these two values, negative 1.96 and 1.96, is 95%. I take 100% minus 95%, and this equals 5%. I take 5% and distribute it in these two red areas, or 2.5% plus 2.5% is 5, and I use that in both of these two tails. In the next video, I'm going to discuss how to make calculations, the z-score calculations. And I will introduce you to the formula, plus I will start using some symbols that you probably see in your classes as well as in your textbooks. And I also have an entire playlist on Z-scores if you'd like to go through the playlist as well.